Hey guys and gals, this is Military Comedy with a two day or two video in one day special, I guess. Um, I just got a slightly better microphone to work for my um, my setup, and I wanted to try it out and also show you guys this game if you've never seen it before. This is RimWorld. It's um, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I'll give you that much. Um, it's not a game for everyone. It's a really fun game to play. And I've also been fascinated by watching it, so this is just going to be a kind of uh, a shorter video, just kind of giving you the general setup for this. I want you to understand the game, and I want to hear your guys' feedback if you want me to do a Let's Play of this, or if you just want me to focus on the other two series I've got going on right now. Uh, I'm good with whatever you guys want me to do, but I wanted to show off this game because this is one of my favorites, and I wanted to see what you guys think of the new mic I've got. Uh, I'm hoping it works really well, but I'm not 100% certain. So, this game here is basically you crash landed onto this planet, and you want to survive. You want to get off the planet in any means necessary. So, you can make your own spaceship later on in the game through a tech tree, or you can, um, like, you can meet friendly AIs, and they'll be like, oh yeah, you can just hitch a ride with us. And I believe there's maybe a couple others, other ways to win this game. This is, um... I believe a beta version so it's not the full release yet so keep that in mind uh, so you start off in the most the most normal uh, start off you start off with just these three survivors and you have character traits so obviously the, they're pretty self-explanatory zero and shooting means he's horrible at shooting and a 10 in growing means he's pretty good at it 20 is the max so I've got one good shooter so I'm gonna give him my rifle uh, you're a brawler uh, the traits here brawler means that they're gonna be a lot better in melee and they're actually gonna be really upset if they don't have a um, What do you call it like a knife or like a, a sword or just a melee weapon in general? So you've got a whole combat tree here. You've also got to focus on food production uh, happiness obviously you want uh, structures for them as well which is what I'm gonna be doing right now I want people to have at least decent enough living conditions I like to do five by five and then one for a door and I'll do that for everybody because you can obviously start off with just um, like a, a group barracks but you get a, a mood debuff for that and I don't really want to deal with that right now uh, it's just never really been how I played this game so I'm gonna make up some uh, housing for everybody here and then I'm gonna kind of get into more of the basics for this game so Besides from uh, needing housing, you've also got to have food for people because people got to eat. So at the start of the game, you have 44 of these survival packages. And they're, those are really good to start off with, uh, but they don't last very long. That's the only uh, issue with them. One, two, three. And uh, so once they run out, they're gone. Because later on, you can get tech that, so that you can uh, make them. But that's not until late game. And it's just... it's. A hassle and it's usually not too worth it unless you plan on going like raiding other people's uh, their settlements or their camps or whatever you're trying to do because that's another thing about this is there are dozens of well not there's five factions usually over here so you've got these uh, it changes every time you have like Outlander Union which is uh, they're like normal people they're not bad they're not good you have tribes, uh, they're kind of low-tech people, they're usually hostile, but not always. So you've got two tribes here that are on good terms with me, and then you have a, mad, a bad tribe, and then you have pirates. And if anyone knows anything about pirates, pirates are always going to be hostile towards you. And so throughout the game, you have the choice to befriend them, or to make war with them, or just do whatever you need to do, because it, it's a very manipulative game when you get to the core of the matter. Uh, so now you can see that I'm making some farmland up because I want my uh, my people to be able to eat because they're going to go hungry soon if I don't have uh, food for them. That's one of the main uh, difficulties in this game is the beginning stages. You never have enough food because that 44 um, survival meals, it, it'll last a little while, but it doesn't last nearly as long as you want. And so you've got to get this starting as soon as you can. Uh, I'm trying to find heal root. There it is. And so once you've got that starting, you can uh, actually have a lot of, um, j just it's a l much easier game. So I've got all that beginning. I also need to start cutting down some of these trees here because they're going to be an issue. 
Uh, right now, everything's paused, so it's not gonna. Nothing's gonna take into a, um, effect. But I don't like when manual priorities. I like to give them their own priorities. So everybody should be firefighting. Everyone should be a patient if they're sick. Uh, Doctor-wise, you're the best doctor, but you're a pretty good one, so I'll put you on two just in case one of you's injured or something. Bed rest is also for when people are like sick or beyond tired. Flicking is for activating power. I don't really have a good warden. But you're the best I've got, so he's going to handle it. Wardens are, um, like, they recruit people, and they're good for, like, trading. Handling is teaching your animals how to do stuff. Cooking, self-explanatory. Hunting, self-explanatory. But I don't usually use that too often. I'll just send them out doing it manually. Uh, construction is building stuff. And the better construction, the better stuff you build. Because everything has, like, a, um, what would you call that? Like, a, uh, a durability to it. Not a dirt, like a quality. So you have like rough quality and then all the way up to like masterwork quality. Growing is for plants. Mining, I just kind of like to keep everyone at a four for that just in case it needs to be done. Plant cutting, I like to keep at a three. And then all this stuff here is just going to be something that I need to worry about eventually, but right now I do not. So I'm going to let them play out a little bit. Uh, so hopefully they'll, yep, they're starting up work on the house and she or I hope one of them is going to start up work on the farm soon because that's definitely going to be a priority. I also realized that I forgot to make beds and that's going to be a problem. So I'll just plop those in there and hope those get done soon. Uh, I also spawned with a warg in my family. My, my family? My colony. And um, it's a female warg, so that means if I eventually get a male warg that I'll be able to have warg babies and then make an army of wargs and I can conquer the uh, the men of rohan with it if anyone gets that reference i hope you do because that's a, a pretty easy lord of the rings reference one of my favorite movies uh one thing i forgot to mention is there are a whole bunch of events in this game so random events good bad uh neutral so a chunk of spacecraft just fell over here so i can um send my builder out there to get that and it'll give him or who's my builder is it a male or female Sparkles, uh, female. It'll give her the ability to like get more resources like steel um, and components, which are very important for uh, more structures. Um, right now, I've kind of got it limited to three houses. Uh, I need to build. I'm gonna turn this into a storage space because it's basically already done. It's gonna. It's not gonna be a permanent storage space. It's way too small for that. But it'll be just a small, uh, quick one uh, early on. And then over here, I think I'm going to make like my um, my food storage place. And obviously, you can't have heat, or you can't have too much heat inside of a uh, food storage place. So you want to build air conditioning, and you want to make sure the food just doesn't rot away. Because once food starts rotting, you've got a major issue there. Which is why I like to do a pretty large space, probably about 15 by 10, and then double thick the wall so that it's insulated, and add two or three air conditioning units so that it's always nice and chilly in there. And then I like to have the um, the cook right inside that as well, so that it doesn't have to go too far to cook things. Uh, I forgot to put my work assignments, because you want people to um, have time for joy. So I'm going to just give them a little bit of joy time, because as I had said earlier, you have like stress levels and you have needs. And so right here, extremely low expectations because it's so new. But he has a horrible bedroom, and he doesn't like that bedroom, but there's nothing I can do about that until later on in the game. So, there's a whole bunch in this game. Eventually, you get attacked by mechanoids. Uh, you can have, um, uh, like, pirate raids or betrayals and all this kind of stuff. Um, I also have a few mods running. They're not too game-breaking or anything. They just kind of give you the choice, because eventually you'll have random events where people will want to join your tribe or your colony, and before in the base game it wouldn't let you know like what their stats are, if they're even worth having, and blah blah blah, and um, I, I, I hate that, because then you might just be accepting someone who's the worst character in the world, and the only uh, way you got him was by attacking a tribe of pirates, and so you get this character, you lose, let's say, two characters in the attack, but you get this character, and you're so excited to see how good the character is, and you learn it's got the worst traits ever, and you're like, oh, why did I waste the, the manpower and the resources to get this? This wasn't worth it. And then you're kicking yourself for the next hour and a half because of it. But it's too late at that point because you've already done it. And the uh, mod I have installed kind of prohibits that. Or it, it not prohibits, it actually completely stops that from happening. Because it's uh, a well-designed mod. 
So, uh, I think it's a good time now for me to start building my little... This is not actually little. It's, it's a good time for me to start building my um, big food storage. And as you can tell, I'm making it double thick, like I had said. I'm going to want doors there, and let's say... I'm two across, one, two, right here. And, nope, not making silver doors. I don't have that much silver. So I'm going to put those there, put those there. And I'm going to call that one a day for now. Um, actually, I take that back because I need to put coolers. So I'm going to have that. Or cooler, yeah, coolers. They're air conditioning, basically. So I have those in effect. Well, once they're built, they'll be in effect. Uh, I need to give it some floors real quick as well. So that people don't have that annoying angriness because of how awful it is. So I've got all of that in effect, or going to be in effect eventually. And then over here, I think is a good enough sp I keep making that out of silver. This over here is going to be a good enough spot for my, um, let me make sure that's, okay. It's going to be a good enough spot for my power storage area because you have to have batteries. So let me, it's been a while since I've played this game, so some of the stuff isn't quite as fresh in my mind as it should be. Uh, I also don't think they've updated this game in a while, if I'm not mistaken. I could be completely wrong about it. They might have updated it yesterday, for all I know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to make these real quick. And I'm going to link them here. And then solar panels. So right here and right there. So with those being built, now I have the ability to eventually... Once they're all built, I'll have the ability to power all of this stuff here so that it can be nice and chilly. I also forgot to make this into a stockpile zone because I was talking about that, but then I never did because I'm a doofus. So I don't want food in there, that's for sure. Uh, I don't want corpses in there, and there was one other thing. I don't want drugs in there. Uh, drugs you usually want to keep in like a cooled area or else they start to deteriorate unless they're actual like medicine. Um, but before you can get medicine, you have, like, the herbal medicines, which are, uh, they're rough. They're, they don't do nearly um, uh, as much as you'd want, but you kind of need them early on because you don't have much choice other than that. Um, I, as you saw over there, I was putting lamps because people, for whatever reason, don't like to sleep in the, uh, in the dark. They like to have lights in their rooms. So you get a, um, a debuff if they have to sleep in, in dark rooms, which I don't understand. I don't sleep with a light on or anything, but... Maybe some people do. Um, I think for this episode, once I've got this building over here constructed, I'm going to call it a day. Oh, this is one of the um, the random encounters I was telling you about. It's a neutral one because I could honestly choose to attack these people if I really wanted to. But right now, I am too horribly set up to uh, even think about it. I have a survival rifle, a revolver, and a, a knife. I'm not going to mess with these people because that means war with them even though he's just got a steel shiv and she's got a or he's got a, a steel knife so it wouldn't end horribly for me but it wouldn't be a good idea either if that makes sense uh this reminds me i need to create production stuffs so a fueled stove is usually a decent way to go but i don't like them i like to use the um uh, the electric stoves, that's a butcher's table right there. Um, the reason I use, or the reason you need butcher's tables are for when you start to hunt people. Or, people? Well, I actually you could use it for people. Cannibalism is a thing in this game. But I don't usually do that unless it's a dire situation. But, uh, if you decide to start hunting animals, you need to butcher them first to get their meat and then their leather. And you can make their, uh, clothing. Because this game is very in-depth. Ooh! Nick thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Well, obviously, we have to go with the United States of America. And uh, my community, since I'm from Indiana, that's the state I'm going to choose. So here we go. And then the United States of America has expanded out here. I guess we must have heard that this place has oil deep in these mountains. Oh, and over... Oh, God. Over here is an infestation. Um, it's a hive. These are... Ex extremely dangerous because these giant spiders and splelopods, spellopods, whatever you call them, these insects over here are extremely hostile and they're extremely hard to kill even with like the highest tier equipment. And so I just usually choose to steer clear of them if I can avoid them. Uh, so luckily since they're really far off on the beaten track, I don't have to worry about that as long as I don't disturb them. 
because even when I have like powered armor and I have pulse rifles and all or charge rifles and I have all this advanced gear, I'm still gonna have extreme difficulty taking them out. Because I've I've played this game way too many times and I've beaten it too many times to uh, think that I have a chance against them and at this point. Because at this point I I, I literally have the b bare bones to uh, survive and even then. I don't think I'm going to do much surviving until I start to have a uh, steady source of food. And there's a bad event that happened. So a local hare has gone mad. So that's uh, extremely dangerous because, you know, you're going to get attacked by it. And, blah, blah, blah. and so uh, when that happens, you just send someone to kill it. Or if it's like a rhinoceros or something, then you send a bunch of people to kill it. And there's usually nothing too bad. I'll let you guys see the very intense combat of my... Uh, my person sparkles fighting it and sparkles is getting her ass kicked this is embarrassing good job sparkles let's see what happens so yeah she, she got a couple bites and a bruise and that's it it's nothing dangerous um i'll just put her in bed and i'll let a uh, doctor heal her up a little i'm not gonna let uh the doctor waste a um one of my uh, good medicines on it it's gonna, just gonna be one of my cheap actually i don't even have herbal medicine so it's just gonna be a um like a hand job, or well, I was about to say a hand job, but like a, a job just with whatever they can get, like a bandages and all that good stuff. So this is going to be my um, my freezer, so I'm going to put food in here, uh, medicine, and drugs. Please tell me I don't have my medicine in here. Medicine, I'm an idiot. All right. <clears throat> and I don't actually know how long I've been recording. I didn't uh, set a timer or anything, so I hope it's not been too, too long. Uh, so I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna make sure that she's okay, and once that's done, I think I'm gonna save it and call it a day and let you guys see what you think. So, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Um, also consider subscribing and commenting and letting me know suggestions, tips, tricks, anything you guys want. Uh, feel free to share this and just, if you want, help me uh, grow my channel. Alright, thank you, and I hope you guys have a good day.